Mm -hmm. So I was thinking I like what you were telling me yesterday about how in America everyone is very uh, in its own bubble, in its own mm -hmm. life, in its own way. So do you think um, by traveling you're able to open up, you're able to learn? Or, I mean, uh, thinking about w who is a world citizen, mm -hmm. is it necessary to travel to be able to understand that? Are you are you trying to do that? Or is, is it possible for an American living in America his whole life to open up? To the, to the rest of the world, or is it really hard to understand uh, what's going on in the rest of the world when you are in that bubble? I think that and it is yeah, a yeah. And what is a world citizen for you? Well, it's a it's a privilege to travel. Number one, for anyone, it's a definite privilege, and it's something that I do not take for granted. But I definitely also think that it is necessary because you will never under it's so difficult to really understand any reality just by movies or television or books or newspaper articles you can get a sense of something but you will not understand unless you're really there that being said of course not everybody can travel so the more media that's out there and the more that they open themselves up to different sources of media new like i said they watch movies they listen to music they go online they talk to people you, they will have a much better sense of an, another culture if they can it's best to always go yourself obviously but it's not always possible and i think that the problem, though, is that most people don't even bother to do that. I mean, they're given the opportunity to, in terms of, I mean, let's just say, even if they if they they can't travel, so they don't have the means to travel. But for most Americans, at, at least, I mean, you definitely have access to media that you could do. You could find cultural exchange online if you wanted to, but. The problem is that most Americans, in my opinion, don't feel the need to have cultural exchange. They do have a superiority complex. They, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I don't relate to it myself because I, I feel very strongly compelled to travel and see the world. What is a world citizen? I think the, a world citizen is someone that understands the fact that the world is interconnected and that doesn't matter if you were born in France or China or wherever your life there has an impact and is impacted by someone living on the other side of the world right. you know and I've said before I think for Americans it's very easy for us to take our lives for granted you know and we think that our life just happens it's this is the way things are and we live in this developed nation where there are a lot of luxuries that we take for granted and we never really see that there is a price for the standard of living that we have and for me personally it's only through traveling that you see that well yeah in America for the most part the price is not paid in America the price is paid in developing and underdeveloped nations they're the ones fueling our growth you know so for me it's quite difficult to see that because honestly that's my reality though you know that's where I'm from I return to that at the end of the day but what I hope for me personally as a traveler is you can take that understanding and you can not only just be grateful for what you have because that's not enough for me you know I think you can take simple things in your daily routines in your daily life whether that's more energy conservation in terms of water use or electricity or just you, you can modify your lifestyle to be a little bit less uh, consumeristic and less just irresponsible ultimately you can take more responsibility for your life especially I always say given the fact that we living in a more developed country have that privilege to do that you know we have the choices we have the power to do it mm -hmm. so it's ultimately it is our responsibility to do so but very few people do being in India for example you know within the first hour of arriving you've seen 30 people begging for money if you were to give every person a rupee at the end of the day I mean even if you're a rich man you would be broke right 
And unfortunately, what happens is you do sort of end up being immune to the situation. You turn a blind eye. Right. But I think that that doesn't mean that you're not more aware now of the situation, of the fact that there is this poverty that exists, that maybe something as simple as, for me, at the end of a meal, I cannot leave food on my plate because it just doesn't, it just doesn't feel right to leave food. You know, when you know, and it's not just like a concept, you know, growing up, there are, there's always that saying, oh, there are children starving in Somalia. But for most people, what does that even mean? There are children starving in Somalia. Okay, so you know that. But if you experience it and you see people who are starving, then that has a totally different definition in your mind, you know? So that I think is really important.